Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Daka City. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the small cinematic that I had at the big kind of uh, the kind of intro section. Uh, I'm planning on doing those if there is kind of like a major change as there kind of has been in a way uh, to the world to kind of show you an overview to give you guys an idea. So I am on the Armadale. Obviously the texture pack has been updated tons. Uh, it's been about two weeks since the last uh, kind of episode of this. Uh, for some reason Shaders does this weird line thing. No idea why. Uh, but I've just kind of edited the Armadale a little bit, added a couple of, of the circles in. Um, overall, it looks a lot better, I think. Um, as the texture pack kind of gets better as well, and I get better at textures, uh, my builds seem to work really well, because obviously I'm I'm building at the same time and using it that way. Uh, so I'm just going to go over the kind of major changes, uh, what I've done, and we're, all gonna, we're actually going to do some sort of let's build type thing, uh, because some of you guys have been asking me kind of a couple of questions, but we'll get onto that kind of later on. Uh, so, I have changed the bridge before. Uh, obviously, the, the bridge, I've actually just taken it all out. Uh, I kind of destroyed it. But it was three lanes on each side. I switched it down to two. It just looked too big. It looked too wide. Didn't quite work. Uh, so, that means I had to change pretty much the entire main road, uh, including the bridge going over. That, obviously, this little bit going across here is then shorter. Um, also, in the texture pack, I now have the cobble wall. Is actually, I've got a never brick version of that uh, so you can just watch one of my you know text pack update videos for that so it kind of it works really smooth with those bits uh, so yeah we've gone too wide I'll show you the curves as well I've been working on the curved roads and things uh, you can see where I've just <laughs> taken out a big chunk here uh, so I've still got lots of little fixing bits to do uh, to fix the world because I just literally well you know just uh, MC edited out those blocks um, also the sewer system I don't know if you guys I uh, saw it, it was on one of my texture pack update videos, um, but I've been working on this as well. Uh, so I've got this kind of overspill type thing. I'm not going to have a sewage system going all the way through the city, just at certain points to show that there is something like that, or it might have secrets or, you know, those kind of things. So I've switched in those, uh, yeah, the jungle wood, the kind of metallic kind of uh, jungle wood there. And this goes all the way through, <laughs> all the way through to the other side of the island. Which is pretty ace, but I'm just going to use this manhole to actually get up. And there we go. And I'll appear somewhere on the road. Uh, you also notice that there are cars and things around. Uh, these are Jag Funders cars. They're his design. I did this tutorial. Um, and just kind of made a load of variations on it. He shows the load anyway. There will be a link to the in, in the actual description to a lot of Jag's vehicles. Uh, trucks and stuff. I haven't actually added in trucks yet, but uh, lots of those. Um, and then I just kind of variated one here. This is like a speed... Uh, not a speed car, what? Sports car type thing? Like a convertible type thing? I don't know. It's kind of like my little version of it, but it's based off Jag's kind of uh, design, so all credit goes to him, even though, you know, it's just it's just the edits that I've done on those. Uh, I've got another one here. This was just using the stone slabs. I was trying that out, and I made it... I put it in here because it looked too similar when you go out to this part. Go on with his police cars. Uh, a couple of these little bits. So got some of those. Got some uh, kind of cardboard boxes in the back of this pickup. So, start to fill up with those, and it does add a little bit more detail, as you can see. Uh, it kind of makes it feel a little bit more used, and fills up that empty space. Now, curved roads. Um, this was quite interesting to do. Uh, I, I basically l grabbed that bridge that I had before. Uh, it was spanning over, so those posts were bidding like over there or something like that, because of the bigger road. Uh, and then shrinked it, and then I was just working on kind of ways to get into this. And I'll get onto the roundabout in a second. Uh, just working, working on ways to get around here. Uh, also putting the lampposts at an angle as well. That worked really nicely. Uh, made it feel a little bit more natural. Uh, but I basically just laid down some circles until it worked uh, kind of correctly, I guess. Kind of difficult to explain. Um, yeah, it is really difficult to explain. Uh, so then I've got the lines going across these bits. Uh, now I haven't. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do underneath the bridges, or underneath this bridge. So, um, I don't know. I could have some sort of parking in here, but then that means I need to get away to, to safely go across. This is a main road. This is a huge road going through like the city and stuff, so you wouldn't really want to walk or run across this part. You know, people are going to be coming off on speed, especially if you've got like a sports car like this dude. Um, so I'd need to have some way to actually get across the road. Uh, probably underneath. Um, still not sure. If you guys have got ideas for that, that'd be awesome. Uh, I've also got a bus, and I'll, I'll show you the bus in more detail when we get down to here. 
Uh, I've got Jags Ambulance here, but I'm going to make my own one as well. Um, just because this one's not particular, not particularly kind of uh, UK style. Uh, so I want to get some like UK, you know, more European type feel stuff. Uh, the other cars are perfect, so they work really well. Uh, I've got this little overpass type thing, uh, kind of overwalk, I guess. Oh, and bins, obviously. I uh, started putting these around, uh, which is quite cool. Uh, but you have to kind of put them up once you get like this weird slab thing. So it's a bit too high, I think. I think it would have been better here. But then it... Uh, that looks like more natural and stuff, but it doesn't really work uh, with the with the sidewalk up here. Uh, so yeah, we have this nice little overwalk. Uh, one thing to bear in mind if you guys are building one of these yourself, make sure that it's high enough. Uh, this bus here is pretty tall. Actually, it's not that tall. Uh, but when I get into the double-decker buses and things like that, you will get start to get pretty big. Make sure, I'm sure that the trucks and stuff um, is big enough. I went for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven block gap, and then had it on the eighth block going across. I don't know if you guys want to do that as well. Obviously, if you need more, just just make it taller. That's it. And it's just using these jungle wood stairs going up uh, and across that. Then we have the roundabout. I'm really really happy with this actually. Um, I was looking at ways to to uh, basically if you come up here, obviously I'm in the UK, you come to here, you would then check that side, no cars, then you drive down here and I was thinking well how do you get over the bridge? The actual, the simplest way was just roundabout and it's very very UK as well. Uh, we have loads of roundabouts bloody everywhere. So instead of having like a box junction as you would in most American cities, uh, I just went for a roundabout so that allows you to get to every single exit. Pretty simple. Um, worked really nicely. Um, so if you guys want a tutorial on that, just give me a shout. It's really, really easy. It's just based off um, Jag Funder's roads, obviously. These ones here for their small roads. And then I just kind of added in this own little section, which worked really nicely. And then, uh, to give it more interest as well, putting your lampposts on at an angle. That works really nicely, and it just kind of fades in between these, these kind of sections quite nicely as well. Uh, I have got like a little rounded road over here, and I, I've got this little coastal ship. I'll go over that in just a second. Uh, we also need to go over the building, obviously. Um, just this kind of little rounded bit. I was, I was thinking about it, and uh, if you do turn off onto this, I was just like, well, where the hell? How are you going to turn around without it being awkward? I was just like, ah, just put in a turn. Why not? Uh, so I just literally just copied and pasted that over there as well. Um, because I, because I can, but um, yeah, really, really nice and simple. And then just used a custom tree on there. Uh, we just bone milled the grass with all my my custom or all, all my texture pack type stuff in there. That worked really nicely. Put in a car park here on the side. Uh, zebra crossing as well. Just been playing around with this. This actually turned out all right. Um, I'm actually quite happy with this. I was messing around with. It. I just went with three blocks wide, black and quartz, just alternating. Then do some stripey stuff. Um, Got a kind of small car park here. Now, there is one thing to mention. Obviously, this building is huge. It's 30 stories high. You know, that's a lot of people. <laughs> you know, so, um, but the thing is, because Minecraft is Minecraft, uh, these cars obviously are way bigger than actual people, are, if that makes sense. Um, it's way bigger. Um, and it has to be, because otherwise, if you did it real size, and, good God, uh, uh, here I am. If you did a real size, I think a car would be like this. It's, it's. I remember looking at it. It was like two by four. And it's only about two meters high, so you'd literally have this this much to work with. That's pretty much it, and it looks terrible. <laughs> so, you know, you have to bear that in mind with your cities. You do want to make it realistic, but because you've had to overscale, or you know, Jag overscaled the cars, and he had to, and it looks amazing. Um, you have to bear that in mind when doing like parking lots and things like that. Obviously, I've also got in my disabled signs here. They fit in really well. Um, one thing that I actually need to do is... Oh, currently, all of these cars are parked perfectly well. I think I need to offset them a bit. That might look that might look quite good. And all of them are kind of... You know, they've all reversed in. They've all gone up to here and gone, yep, and reversed in, and they've done it perfectly. I think maybe messing them up a bit, possibly. I'm not sure. Um, but also using... The end portals here, uh, putting in some little trees. What this does uh, is actually block your line of sight just a little bit. If I, I want to try and do. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. 
blocks your line of sight a little bit um, and adds a little bit more colour to the roads um, or this car park. It just adds colour. That's what you need to do. You need to kind of add colour, I think. I think that makes it look a lot better uh, in there. I've also started to, wherever you kind of get some free gaps like this, obviously I'm on an island. Um, I've got this kind of side part here. So I filled that up with trees. And that really looks really, really cool, uh, especially when you're looking up at the building and the side. And I'll, again, I'll, I'll go through that in a bit. Uh, you kind of get this really nice, I don't know, it just, it just finished it off a little bit. It looks like it's kind of, you know, these trees have just been left to grow here a little bit. Um, but they are kind of looked after. You've got some nice grass and stuff like that. So it's just using those custom tree pack. Uh, and then we go around to the back right here, obviously. I just copy and pasted this entire thing. I only built a quarter of it. Um, as I was saying in the last video, um, but yeah, so that's what we've got there. Uh, got a nice little car park. Uh, just started doing that. Cool. Uh, not really too, too sure what I'm going to put in this section. Probably a really small shop or a building. I don't really know. I'm not really sure. I mean, it's it's quite a big area actually. This this place here. It's just not big, big. Or I might put a shop on the other side. Not sure yet. Not sure. But I'll just go over the bus, then we'll go over what I did with the building. Uh, I'll discuss how I made, because uh, a lot of you guys hated the building. <laughs> a lot of you really did hate uh, the building. I think it's because you thought that that was going to be it. Um, obviously, it's not. Uh, so there we go. Here's my bus. Uh, there will be a tutorial coming for out, out for this one uh, this week, actually. Uh, I've already recorded it. I've already edited it. Uh, it just needs to uh, be uploaded. That's it. So there'll be definitely be a tutorial. Don't ask about it. Um, so yeah, it's kind of, kind of a nice little bus. Uh, again, it's the UK style, so we drive on the left. That's why you go in on the left if you're if you're from another country. Just uh, switch over, easy. Uh, but nice and simple. Um, I tried out Jag's bus, but it it looked a bit too American. Um, so I was looking at the UK buses, um, and I actually just changed it to this one. This one's really square. The UK bus is square as hell. Um, what I will do in the downtown area, you know those typical double-decker red buses that you see in London? <laughs> I'm going to make some of those as well. Uh, but this one, because of the size of this kind of overpass here, it didn't really make any sense to have the big ones. Not really. Uh, so I've just got this small one here. Um, but I'm just going to plop those around. Uh, quite easy, especially with if I just keep the colour scheme as well, then that can be like the, the type of bus or make or whatever so now let's go over this building what did I do to make it look like it does how does it all work all that kind of stuff um, I've still got lots of stuff to do in these areas as you can see I've started to lay out this kind of area here I'm not really too sure what I'm going to put in here I could extend the car park all the way up here but I, I didn't really want to it, it would just fill it up with all car park stuff and like I was saying even though that would be like realistic you know car parks everywhere um, especially with this size it wouldn't really make sense aesthetically it wouldn't it would just it would just look the same you want to break it up um, and also I wanted this kind of walkway here to be quite nice now whether I put in fountains and stuff like that make it quite peaceful this this is going to be a hospital though it looks like a hotel <laughs> it really does look like some sort of fancy hotel um, but I'll probably put those in there I've kind of built these kind of flower box type things here um, and obviously we've got these two like entrance ways here. These will be for the ambulances, as you can see there. So I've got two two entrance ways on those sides. So how did I style this? Why does it? How does it look a hell of a lot better than it was before? Because last time we just had flat flat faces, and that was it. Um, uh, basically, this is going to be kind of hard to, to explain. Actually, I'm just going to grab the blocks I actually used for this style. And there we go, to actually make it, and some glass, we also need some blue wool. What I'll do is I will try and explain um, the two the two main different ways of building. There's a way called modular, and then there's just building it as it as you can build. Uh, if you're just going to build it as you build, you just go like, yeah, that, that looks alright. And I'll go across here, maybe I'll do an extension here, yeah, that'll, that'll, be, that'll do. And, you know, you haven't really, it's not that you haven't planned it. It's just that then you go, oh, there has to be a double door here. You know, it's something like that. And then if you're actually having a roof, because you've gone with even here, um, if we just grab, I don't know, stone stairs will do. Grab a roof here, then you go, ah, uh, actually, actually, I'm not that down. Um, if you did have a roof, yeah, you then go, ah, uh, actually, this middle bit doesn't quite line up. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I actually did it even there anyway. 
but maybe you wanted like a center line instead of these two blocks. I don't know. It it's not really my build style. This one was done in that kind of shape way uh, or random way. Um, even though there was like plans behind it, uh, I knew that it wouldn't work out perfectly. Modular. Uh, a lot of the medieval stuff that I do is modular. It's like going. All right, we're going to have sections, and they're going to have five blocks in between. One, two, three, four, four, five. And then we're going to have one of these poles, and then everything will work off that. And stuff like that. So then we, you know, you'd have something like this, and then you'd have a certain style that you go, okay, every one of these has got one of those on it. Uh, actually, what we're going to have is we're going to have gray wall on each of those sections, and you kind of get these like sections, and then you just copy and paste those basically all the way through it. Um, there is problems with that. Uh, it's too straight. Yeah, it's really good for square buildings. Uh, really, really good for square buildings. But it doesn't really work with circular stuff. And this one, um, I don't know if there's actually a straight line. Uh, not particularly anywhere, except for like on the on the side faces. But I mean like a, a modular line. What I did is I went with the kind of flowing style with the shapes because I wanted to get a kind of modern, futuristic style to this. Uh, obviously, I applied that and, and you guys saw my, my terrible paint picture before. And then how I actually changed it into this, you know, I got the shapes done. Um, and then what I did is I, I I got a modular design and applied it to a pre-existing shape. It doesn't always work, and you have to be quite careful, but it did work on here. So the central tower I've got here, which is just a massive circle, um, I put some helipads here as well. I mean, this, this is huge. I could probably get four helicopters at least on here. Um, and I actually need to build those helicopters. Um, but what I did is created sections. So I went, okay, my floors are going to be three blocks high. And, oops, now I've buggered that up. I'll just grab a stick, not a brick. And now I need to do, I'll just do something simple. Oh, not that, Jesus Christ. There we go. Right, change that. <laughs> so I went, okay, my, my, my kind of um, floors are going to be three blocks Three blocks tall. Um, I'm also going to need a floor block, so I've got a floor block here, and I'm also going to need a ceiling block to put lighting in. So that meant that each section was basically five blocks. So I had, you know, we're on the floor here, but if we if we were kind of upper floor, I'll just build it over here. We we'll go. Well, this is a carpet. We're going to have three blocks. That might as well be the window. Then we're going to have a ceiling block, and maybe the ceiling block would be this. So we can hide glowstone in here. We can put a glowstone block in there, uh, like. Wherever my glowstone is, there we go. Glowstone block, throw that in there, and then we're going to have the floor again. So that's taken up quite a lot of space already. Um, so we're going like floor, three blocks, and our ceiling, and then it will repeat again. Um, so that I went, okay, well I've got that section, that's definitely going to be how it is. Um, on the inside I just laid out some blocks. Uh, I actually used the blue wall, as you can see here, just, just to kind of symbolize those. And then I applied a pattern to to it. Um, I looked at this circular thing here, looked and I wanted three sections in here, then I went okay that's where the pillar is going to be behind because I do need to have a lot of support but windows make things look interesting. Uh, they instantly cut things up especially when you start getting an interior. This one's completely empty, we'll go inside in a bit. Um, especially when you have an interior, windows will just create interest and depth in instantly because you can see inside it gives you perspective. Um, but then I just basically went, okay, well this section here, I'm going to put two blocks in each of those sides coming out of that original circle. They will be like grey wall, then I'm going to have stone slabs joining these across to make this middle block look like one singular block. So usually it would be here, but because we use the slabs, and actually I'll just show you, that's what it looked like before. That looked really, really too big, as you can see. Doesn't quite work, uh, so I went, okay, I want to create some kind of shading as well. I'll do that. That looks like one single block and it's offset. It makes the double... Uh, the ceiling and floor look smaller. It's kind of like a perspective trick type thing. Uh, also adding depth as well with, with having this block in here. I put some buttons on both those sides and then I boarded it with this cobblestone wall. And I might change that cobblestone wall to another texture uh, that I've got now. Um, but when I built it that was all I pretty much had. Uh, and then I just kind of continued it. I went one, two, three, and then I'll have a pillar. One, two, three, and then I'll have a pillar. One, two, three, and then I'll have a pillar. And this one. I missed out the glass. Okay, I think I caught that. There we go. And basically kept going through. And I think I actually missed out that. I'm going to have to go back and do all this. <laughs> but um, whenever it curves, I just went back and curved. And then this curves as well. 
this middle one here, I had to fudge it and have a two. It doesn't matter though, because where it's hidden. Um, also the perspective type thing, if you're down here, this one here is the fudged one. Uh, can you tell? No. So, <laughs> you know, I basically worked worked my way around and went, ah, oh, damn, it doesn't really work. Doesn't matter. So I've just got two in here instead of three. And then it just switches direction and goes the other way. Um, and that's how I did the middle one. Then what I did, and actually you can see it here, uh, this turned out really nice, especially if you look at it from, from this kind of angle. I think that looks awesome. Obviously you've got two of them, uh, so that's cool. Um, same again, I went, where's my floor, where's my ceiling? And I also wanted to hide some glowstone in it, so when I switch it to night, which I'll, I'll do kind of uh, near the end, and after I've started talking about the styling type stuff, um, kind of went through kind of wanted to hide it so I then created these kind of patterns I started off with this really big one um, and I actually started off with the big one going down the other side so I established a style like I was saying with the modular design that I put onto that you, you kind of establish a style first uh, so I kind of created this type thing here with a load of stone slabs quite complicated really um, then put in the glowstone and you can see me kind of working this middle middle thing, because this glass looked way too thick, I had to put a, well I didn't have to, but I put a a kind of block going through the middle of a different colour as well, uh, I just went with the grey, um, established that style, put that on there, uh, obviously these side bits were smaller, so then I went with a similar style, so you can see that here, this centrepiece is up one from that bit, all I did is just took that idea and, and kind of fudged away in, put that in there and just put the lights in again, um, same on all these sides, and also going down, going down these as well. It's exactly the same, um, but also because you have the lights in there, obviously it'll, it'll give you that outside lighting, makes the building look really cool. Uh, with this style, you've got the lighting then pushing onto the big cylindrical tower. Then uh, all I did is I took this style that we have here and applied it to this, but I changed it a little bit. I put in a block in between so that you kind of get this staggered pillar type effect and that worked better um, I tried a couple of them it looked too open if I did the kind of windows like this one and it was just to break it up though keeping a style constant uh, so if we actually just go inside and I mean this is is huge you got three stories here uh, within this this in this kind of entrance section uh, and then we have a look up there you go you can see how big that tower is uh, I've just put in some water for the time being. I think I'm going to make a quite a nice peaceful place. I'm not really too sure. Uh, I'm still planning on having this as a hospital. Just like a really modern hospital. Um, yeah, it's going to be quite good. Uh, interior wise it's going to take forever. Especially when you look up this. Yep. That's going to take a while to do an interior on that. I might just throw in some floors and... I don't know. <laughs> hide stuff. There you go. You can see over there. Oh, I've got the depth of field on. So whenever you got to something really close, it kind of freaks out, especially when you look here. It does look... that's weird. I look down. Oh, it's because it's catching this block. But, um, yeah. So I put in that. Um, if we go up. Again, you can see the size of it. But you can see kind of what I did on the inside, at least. I went one, two, three, and then put in two blocks. One, two, three. And that's all I did. And um, I actually took out... I actually changed these blocks here afterwards. Uh, after I got it, I got it done. I just striped those first, and I've also got a little entrance way in here as well. There we go, which is quite cool. Um, pretty ace. It goes all the way up. Right, does go up quite far, and here we have the double floor. There we go. Oh, so here we are. Oh, I actually had a block there. Oops. So if we go up here and fly up. There we go. Got kind of like an office type thing some super director power person. Haha, -ha, my evil empire of a hospital. And uh, unfortunately from this place here you can't see anything. Nope. Can't see anything at all. I, I honestly can't. Oh well. We drop down here and we're just going to fly. Pretty much. Downwards. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the hospital. Or, or the kind of progress of it so far. Uh, I think you should have learnt a little bit about how to take the two main styles of building uh, and, and mix them. 
and it works. Um, but tell me what you think of that. I, I think it looks a lot better. You guys really hated the old one, um, but it was literally I was, try, I was trying to show you uh, how to how to think about it, uh, like basic shapes first, and then and do stuff like this. Uh, you can see how that works. You can see how it works now. I think uh, with the staggered circles, um, I think it works a lot better. And then I decided, why the hell not build? Uh, I was thinking about like hospital ships and stuff like that, and and I I saw some. There is actually hospital ships, but they're huge, obviously because they're like used in war zones and things like that. And um, well, I I kind of needed instead some sort of like coastal rescue service. So I built a really small ship here. I'm I'm not too keen on it. It's too small. Uh, so then, oh yeah, I've got a speedboat as well. Um, <laughs> Randomly, oh, that that island looks awesome actually with this text my, with my texture pack. I'm actually surprised. Nice, um, but yeah, I, I I wanted a bigger one, um, so I decided to build this kind of larger coastal rescue ship. Um, now, I posted this on Facebook and you guys hated the orange color. It's um, RNLI, which is the Royal Navy Lifeguard thing. What's it called? I can't remember what it's called, uh, what the actual acronym stands for, but it's basically like a, a, a volunteer service, really good, uh, all around the UK, they've got loads of ships to basically like um, save people, it's a rescue ship, it's a coastal rescue ship, um, and that's kind of what I was going to use, so it's quite big, and yes, there will be a tutorial, um, quite nice, it's it's not huge, huge, but it's not small, small, and it's my own design, which is why I've, I found it stupidly easy to build. Um, kind of nice nice little ship and this thing at the front before you think is a gun no it's a water cannon it's the closest I could kind of think of to get a water cannon maybe maybe even just take that off and do something like this maybe that actually works a lot better there you go amended um, so yeah it's got a water cannon so that if there is for example uh, a fire like one of the buildings is on fire you've got this massive river here and if it's close enough to the river you can just use a ship which is pumping water from the actual river itself to actually spray onto it makes sense. Uh, also, f ships that are on fire, the warships, the cargo ships that I'm going to have later on, can uh, actually put those out at sea. So I've kind of built one of those. I think it's quite cool. Um, kind of uh, meets the purpose. Obviously, you can change the color to whatever you want uh, in the tutorial. I'll go over that in the tutorial. Um, but yeah, it's it's a nice little design. I like it anyway. Um, but yeah. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Well, I keep on getting asked for a design of a small dock or something like that. A dock, basically. Um, now, obviously, we need to get, you know, if somebody's been uh, hurt or anything like that, they've been captured on, you know, they've been taken onto one of the Zodiacs, put onto this main ship, and they're going to get taken to the hospital as fast as possible. Where the hell are they going to dock for the back kind of part of this? Well, I think... First thing you need to do, and I'll go through the entire process. I'm actually going to turn off shaders for this because it might be easier to see. Um, you need to find a nice place in your terrain which will work. Now we've got two on this place actually, and it's close to the entrance. Uh, we could either have one here and go across, or we can have one in this little recess here. And I quite like this little recess, um, mainly because naturally, um, or not naturally, obviously I made. I made the map, but I didn't make it for this. Uh, this hill's a little bit less steep, whereas the other one's got a kind of cliff. So, what we're going to do, and I'll, I'll just show you little bits of it, um, but I'm going to use oak wood and something else. <laughs> I don't really know yet. No, 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 no. I'm actually just going to use stone or something like that. I don't know. Oh, we've got lots of stone. All right, we're going to we're going to have a look here. We're going to bridge across this section, and we'll go from here possibly. I built up there. I don't really like the oak wood. So it might help if I got better materials. I still need to change all these woods in the texture pack, but let's build up. There we go there. And what I advise doing is leaving a block. It it looks better. Um now what I was saying about modular, I'm gonna make this one modular, so we're gonna go one, two, three, and that'll just hit to there, it doesn't really matter. Actually we'll go four. Oh well now we're going five. All right, and then we're just going to cover that up, so it didn't really matter anyway. Um, if we just put a couple of blocks here, like that, that'll do. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. 
I'm actually going to stick this one up one block. Oh, there. And I need another reason that shaders aren't great. That's because you can't do that. There you go, so I want to make sure that those go down all the way. One, two, three, four, five. And then down here. I'm actually going to also oh, not do that. There you go, I'm just going to do this. I'm more comfortable this. There, okay. There. And build this. What I'll do, actually, I'll, I'll just skip through this part. Get the basic framework done, and I'll show you what it is after that. Okay, so we've got the basic framework in a way. Um, now what we're going to do, now we've got to look at how wide this is. <laughs> I can actually see all of this stuff underwater, which is weird. Really weird. Um, now, we could either, well, the ship could, technically, and I think this might be better, is actually if it would just literally go up to here, and then would just unload people, because then it can just literally drive off, go around the other side of the island. Really simple. Um, you could obviously make a pier, and one, two, three, four, five, and then you know do your section here. If you wanted a small pier, do it like just one section. If you wanted a big pier, just do it, you know, two sections, something like that. And go out as far as you need to. Um, obviously, if you have a river like this, you want to make sure that you don't block off a huge amount. And you want to make sure that it looks like the ship could turn around uh, and it can actually work. So what we're going to do now, uh, I'm actually going to have a look at the materials I've got. I'm sure I've got something. Possibly never brick, weirdly. Um, it's kind of like a really dark texture. And we're going to have to change the wood, actually, as well. I don't think it really works. Uh, I'm just going to fill this floor up here. If I just grab this. Is this going to be too dark? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. But what I'll do is I'll fill up this and we'll have a look. Okay, so now what do we have? We have now got the floor texture. Excellent. Uh, so we've got that here. Um, I think that kind of works. Uh, I really like that texture. It's, it is my favourite texture out of all of them. I don't know, it just looks awesome. I've missed a block. Of course I have. Uh, but now the wood doesn't work. So we're going to change that. We're also going to put in fence but I don't really like that fence now luckily I've got some extra ones in my texture pack so I can just do ripple probably 85 5 what have we got uh, 4 maybe mm. let's find out let's have a look or 3 let's, let's try 3 so okay, that's spruce wood that'll work it lo works a little bit better a little bit deeper um, so we're going to put some of those down and Put these down here, and then I'll replace these. Fence off this area first, then we'll look at the main material. I'm just going to switch those out over. And I actually need to switch this stick to a paintbrush or something, because I really do use it like it. That would work a lot better. There we go, so now we've got that. Okay. That wood definitely doesn't work. 100% doesn't work. Um, I'm just going to grab my stick again. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab stone brick stairs and stone brick. Uh, I'm going to put this in behind. Uh, or do we want that just to be a pier like that? Now that's difficult. Uh, actually, yeah, we'll just do stone brick. Try this out. Oh, and there's a, there's a goddamn chicken in the way. So that will work. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Might need to change those fences again. <laughs> Um, you can see what I'm. I'm trying to. I'm trying to show you guys, as well, is that don't be afraid to change everything uh, at all. Um, actually, in in, if it, in fact, just change it. If it, if you're not too sure, change it. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do it the easy way. So I'm going to go down here and all the way up to here. There we go. Pulse one, pulse two, and this one is replace seventeen zero with ninety-eight. No? Was it just seventeen? There you go, yeah, so it's just seventeen maybe. I, I can't remember what, what the actual metadata is for that one or the data. Okay, we're also gonna do 
place, but this time we're going to place the fence, which is 85 and 3. We're actually going to place that with 85 and 1. Which I know is kind of like iron. Uh, I don't really know about that. Maybe try the... I'm going to have to do this, aren't I? 85 and 2 is like marble. So I'm just going to do these like that. So like, no. No, I'm not, not, not keen on that either. Hmm. Okay, well, I know what I'll do. And I don't think that really works, but I have an idea. Uh, if I just do this, I'll just do replace and. Oh, not replace, ripple and 139. And I think it is 10, I believe. Yep, there we go. Got my cover wall, which is actually a uh, this one. <laughs> kind of cool. And again, I could just use the replace tool. I'm not going to. What this will do as well. I'll add a little bit more detail. There we go. That looks quite cool. I quite like that. Uh, it also tiles perfectly, by the way. Uh, I don't know if you guys have used this yet, um, but it'll tile with the the stone brick perfectly. So if we just put that in. Try that out, like that, there we go, we got that. Now, we need to make some arches, so we're just going to throw in a stair. I usually just do this, this is the fastest way to do it, just fly around just doing that. There we go. Again, we'll tile perfectly. And there we go. And there, I'll switch that one out and put that one in there, put that one in there. How oh, does that give us that? Quite nice. Now we need some sort of texture in here, possibly, or we just need to do this. No, I can't do it on the edge. Nope. Okay, so I'm just going to switch out these. We're just going to do an upside down one, a normal one. And this looks quite cool. There we go. You can also obviously fill in behind. Uh, I just don't think it would work with this one. What does that kind of appear? It looks kind of quite olden, actually. It's quite nice. We have an olden star one, uh, and obviously would have a couple of these open. Possibly these two, or yeah, we we'll have the middle two open, like this, and then we're gonna. Just, I'm just gonna put those back in. Okay, how does that look? Oh, it doesn't look bad at all. Right, so we've got a nice kind of like basic style. So you can see that I've made the basic style here. Um, now we need somewhere where they can actually get tied up. Actual ships now. Jag Thunder uses the anvils, which is a really cool idea. That's what I'm going to use. And I don't really know where they'd go. In which direction they would look right in. We just have it like there. That'll do for now. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so we need to have a little path going up. Now this will be a little bit complicated, well not really complicated, but um, interesting, interesting, that's what I mean. So I'm just going to grab the stairs as well, and I'm just going to go with three sets, and I'll always fill in behind for some reason. Now I want to go, I can either go straight up this hill, just cut right into it, or not. Um, So we go up to here, cut into this part right here, and possibly give yeah, we'll a cut across, then we'll just cut into this one one more. So we're right to this cliff, then we're going to start moving upwards, then we will. I'm just going to throw in stone there for the time being. I'll switch that out in a second. And there and there. Cut these blocks now. Probably just go across straight for the time being. Actually, I need to switch out for the stone brick. So we have a path going up there, um, like that. I'm going to get to the actual entrance of it. Uh, how are we going to do that? I think curve it this way now. That'll work. Have a little, have a little overlook. So I want to have it to kind of flat. There we go. So have that there. I'm just going to fill this in for the time being. And then we're going to go straight up. 
like this. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I will grab though some gravel, which I do need to change the texture of. I don't really like the gravel. But we'll put that in there. Maybe. No, we won't. We're all going to use the stone brick again. <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, I'm not too keen on the gravel yet. I need to, I need to retexture it first. I have some there. And then go up here. Like this. And we need some slabs. And then we'll put that in. Oh, goddamn grass. There we go. Like that. Switch this one around to here, that one go to there, and that'll become grass. So we have that, and then it'll just basically connect in. Nice and simple, really. There we go, that'll be fine. Not perfect, actually, I need to... Okay, so then we get that. Now, that currently looks like some sort of crazy path, doesn't look great. Uh, we're just going to grab this again. And we're just going to basically border this. The same material um, here, and then bordering this. And you can see we're just laying down the basic framework for it, building a basic wall. And going up one for the time being, actually. And actually, no, I'm not. not I'm not going to do that. <laughs> there, switch that out, switch that out, and switch up these. And there. So we have that. We need to do the same on the other side as well. Put this in. Let's take those out and put that in. And then go up on these sides as well. Uh, I'll stop there because I don't need to go up any higher. Now, what do we need to do? We could possibly, we could just go across with these. Uh, keep it all kind of basic. We don't really want to make it too too fancy. Uh, it doesn't need to be. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to do here. And also we need to find some there. Uh, you don't need it to be too fancy most of the time and it usually just needs to be simple. Um, I'll just have it across here. Uh, that's going to have to be joined in actually. Uh, okay. Have a look at that. That looks a little bit better. Now we just need to add some depth into it. So we're just going to cut through all of this part. I'm going to leave that one there as if it was a pillar. Find the middle. There we go. We've got two sections of three. Perfect. And then I'm not actually going to do that. We're going to leave that part there. Let's do this. Add in some stuff there. Some stuff there. I'm actually going to switch this out for grass. And the back one. Put that in there. That adds a little bit more depth, and we're actually going to build this up. I'm going to take this up. That's what I'm trying to say, there we go. Take that up one, put that in there. Uh, that looks a little bit better. Um, still not perfect though, I could do with a different material here. That's what I could do with. Now, what we got? What have we got? Uh, I am boring. I'll use one of the metadata that I've got at the minute in uh, in a couple stones. So we've got four and probably let's go for six. Oh, can't do that. I don't know what this one is. White wool. That's not going to suit it. Uh, it's doing the weird thing. So the textures get muddled depending on where you're looking. It's very odd. Oh yeah, that one's done that. Got muddled. I have all of them. I've all of them done it. Ah, God damn it. I think this is a problem with Optifine or connected textures at the minute. Let's go for four, eight, or something like that. Alright, there we go. That's where I made the mistake. Let's do that one. That one do. Yeah, it's, it's not quite perfect. Uh, it's not quite right, is it? I'm not really too sure what to do in this part then. So you can see that I'm getting stuck. Uh, and sometimes you do, and sometimes you just have to come back to it. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Horrible, that's what it is. Uh, light grey, dark grey. 
Yeah, why not? That just looks a bit weird. Screw it. We're going to use something like that for the time being. That will do. Okay, so we're actually not going to use that. We're just going to we're just going to go back to the old stone bricks. Um, nah. You can see that the stone brick texture is actually muddled as well. I don't know. It's in certain directions. Uh, if you look in certain directions, so this one's muddled actually. That one's fine. That one's fine. So maybe it's just north, north to south. Well, it depends on the map so far. I don't know. There's some sort of weird coordinate type thing. Whereas it's kind of messed it up. Um, I have no idea what it is. Okay, so we have that in there. Uh, we also need to add in some trees and stuff like that. Would would be really good to put in this part. Uh, but f before we do that, what we're going to do? Um, I don't know. I'm just using bedrock, but um, I'm just going to see if I can grab that block and one of those blocks. And see no. I'll use the replacer stick, and we're going to do, if I find it, there we go, that's five and something, I can't remember what it is, that's a bin, okay, well I found the bin texture, that's good, um, oops, not that, there we go, we got one of those, and what I'm doing is I'm just loading up a couple of these, so what we can do is we can have a look, Let's see which ones work. There. And that one as well. Okay, that would work. So where can we get a big crate in? That will just fit. It's upside down. That's weird. Yeah, the textures, the textures have gone muddled and I don't know what's happened. I don't know if it's an update thing. There we go, that one. So that, that side doesn't work. That doesn't really work. Okay, let's, let's see if this works. There you go. I don't know what's going on with the textures at the minute. God damn it. Something's gone weird. Screw it. Okay, so we're just going to have some boxes and stuff. Well, these are cardboard boxes, obviously. Um, but basically, fill stuff up. That's what I'm trying to say. Fill stuff up with stuff. Why is that doing that? That's so very odd. So all the faces are kind of affected. For some reason that one is, and that one is. This one isn't, and they're exactly the same. Very, very strange. Is there any way I can fix that, I wonder? It's a type thing, weird thing. Okay, well, anyway, you would put stuff on there. Uh, I'm going to have a look at why the texture is kind of broken, if it's like a common problem or not. Uh, what we are going to do, though, is grab all the materials for lamps and light that up a little bit. Uh, I think that's a good idea. So I'm just going to grab that one, grab that one, grab that one. That will do. Uh, and and by the way, if you do grab the uh, cobblestone wall, obviously you can just place it anywhere. It's quite useful that way. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay, that's going to be annoying, but oh well. Uh, I can just change it. So we go one, two, three, maybe. Just stick those on there, or do we want to? Four. Trying to figure out a way to do some stylistic stuff. And just add on those lamps, possibly. Don't know why we're going that way. Maybe we need to go in the inside, possibly. Maybe like this, and. Maybe that'll look a little bit better. Maybe. Okay, well, I'm going to just say no to that. Uh, go up one more <laughs> and actually just go diagonal instead. I think that'll work. There. And then diagonally will make my way this way. Put that in there. Shove that one in there. And I'll do the same on the other side. Uh, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six. Put one of these, go across here. Get that there. And then put that one in. Okay, now where have we got? We've got a two there. Put two there, we could go for a three, that would bring that up there. If we take out this section as well, make that the dock. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Put that in. And oh there. And on this one as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
There and there. So that'll give us a couple of lamps at least. Uh, it doesn't work out perfectly well, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I might bring one of those ships up here and have it kind of docked. Or maybe move this little one. I don't know. I'll, I'll probably move the little one completely. It's the stairway up. So we can get up into the cast part here. This needs to be different. So you can see I was walking up it to try and figure it out. Uh, really useful. Because this all flowed. This all flows quite nicely. Uh, and this part doesn't quite. Not yet. Just kind of making it bigger, really. Um, this one needs to be moved back, I think. Like that. <laughs> you can see how weird this is, but this is honestly what I do sometimes. There you go. That works a little bit better. Uh. Yeah, that, that should work. That should work. There we go. And then you can get up into it. That seems to work a lot nicer. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, but that's pretty pretty much it. I mean, I've, obviously I've got to fix whatever's going on with these textures. If it's just me or if it's a 1.6 or 1.7 thing. And I think it's a 1.7 thing. Uh, either with Optifine or, or whatever. I might, up, I might upgrade my version of Optifine to see if that's fixed. Oh, I've actually fixed it. Um... Tell me if you guys are also getting that. That's really odd. Um, really, 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 really is odd. <laughs> really strange. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. There's not really too much I can go on about. Um, I guess I could show you guys this finished product and shaders and what it looks like in it, how it improves it all completely. And um, yeah, there you go. You can see how the lights are kind of working at least. I'll probably also put some more lights. Probably on this corner piece. Oh, and look at that. That's that's pretty good timing, actually. That makes it look really nice and creepy. Really nice dark dock. So we come up to here. Yeah, that kind of works for that. <laughs> Which is good. Um, if we just do weather clear. I'm also going to do time set night, basically. Nice, get a nice night view. There you go. You can see the actual hospital type building and if I actually turn my field of vision down otherwise it skew ifs it is too big uh, so it always just like warps it a little bit if you have that on you can see what it looks like at night quite nice um, there you go there's the lights there that's what I was kind of going for with those lights wanted it to kind of like uh, just accentuate that uh, lighting wise I think it worked really well and you can see it kind of glowing onto the onto the sides as well um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll I'll kind of catch you for the next episode. Uh, if there's anything you guys want me to go over as well that you've seen in this episode, then do just post a comment and um, I'll get back to you, or I'll make it, or, or do it in the next one. But um, people did want to see a dock. Uh, I'm I'm still not too sure about doing this as like the let's build. Instead, I should do it like a I think I should do it as like a let's tour type thing of what I've just built, uh, and then go through how and stuff like that. But um, Tell me what you think um, of the format type thing as well. Trying to go, trying to kind of change it and trying to get it a little bit better uh, so that it kind of fits what you guys want. So thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.